So, uh, USC and Lincoln Riley still suck. <laughs> hey, at least he got paid, right, USC fans? I mean, I mean, you should have listened to the Oklahoma fans when you said they was crying. <laughs> what are you saying now? <laughs> Watching the Lincoln Riley press conference against Minnesota, oh my gosh, I want to throw up. It's the same stuff we heard here in Oklahoma. We're just two plays away from being 5-0. and If we could just get over the hump, we'd be in the national championship. Whatever. You score 50 points, but you lose to Georgia because they scored more than you. It's the same stuff, and now USC fans have to deal with it. And thank God we don't anymore here in Oklahoma. It, it, it feels so good to be right. Because to be honest, I was one of those people, and I still am, that can't stand that guy. I just can't stand him. He's, he's, I don't even know if narcissistic is the term, um, but he's all about himself. He, he doesn't give a crap about anybody but himself. And he, he pretends like he protects players and stuff like that, but he doesn't care. He's just a politic when he gets in front of that mic like you're going to see here in this press conference. Anyway, let's just get to some of these stupid things that he says. Did you make him feel like that last touchdown they got in? From Minnesota? No, don't ask him that. I say, yeah, I don't, don't ask him that. Yeah. Next question. On the third and fourth. Who four? cares what he says on that? <laughs> By what, player's opinion? Let's ask a more professional question. Our coach. Hmm. Here's a take that should fry your brain cells. Okay, so, I mean, what, what we define as a start, I know can you know we can call it all what we want. We had a good drive there to start the game. Yeah, we want to get off to a good start, but I mean, at the end of the day, like I tell you guys, like you gotta, we gotta keep like a politician. Land. Still, the, this team, every time we've gotten off to a slow start, we've come back and taken the lead late in the game every single time. So, we we so? talked about it a lot with the guys. We've emphasized it like crazy. Um, that's one of the several things that we got to keep getting better at, and I'm confident that we will. But you know, we're still putting ourselves in position to win the. And here it comes. Here's where he starts blaming other things other than his own coaching. Hang on a second games and we need to make the one more play to push ourselves over the hump. Lincoln, you mentioned the success in, in the run game, you know, still with, with some of those offensive line struggles. Are, are you confident in the personnel that, that, that you have and kind yeah, of the ability? That absolutely. Group no, like, we moved the ball at will tonight. I mean, it was, again, you just, you can't have those turnovers down there. They're oh. run the ball like we did. Um, you know, we, we protected the quarterback well for a large, large part of the night. You know, we, we got good enough play out of the old line. All right, enough of that horse crap. All right, here's the deal. You're doing the same crap that you did at Oklahoma in your interviews and in your late game play calling. You have no game management whatsoever when it comes to, hey, you know, we've got the lead. Maybe we should run the ball because we're killing it in the running game. You basically just said you were gashing them in the running game. You're averaging seven yards a carry. And then in the fourth quarter, you decide, eh, let's throw it a few times. Just run the ball. Holy crap. This is something that we used to bitch about. You know what? Oklahoma fans were right more than Lincoln Riley was. I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. We all chanted and booed when we wanted Caleb Williams to come on the field over Spencer Rattler. We were correct. And I think Lincoln Riley's ego and head got into his, you know, he, he couldn't stand the fans after that. He couldn't stand Oklahoma because we were right and he was wrong. And here's another example. Sorry, USC fans. We were right. You were wrong. Lincoln sucks. Chuck Mustache here. What do we call those guys? Beta! Hey, if you enjoyed that video there, just go ahead and click right here on this video where I talk about Travis Hunt and the Colorado Buffaloes. All right then. Whoop.